you and I, we are neither hot nor cold, but we are judging one another. The Lord will tell us he does not know us, but we are being judges on earth. So people who want I in the world, who want to accept God, they watch this video, they watch this thing, they say, look at these people. They don't even know what they are doing. I rather remain in my world and fornicate. I rather remain in my world and do whatever I'm doing, have a peace of mind, than these confused Christians who don't know what they are doing. Beloved, Sonya me, Sonya me, Maokra. Sonya me, Sonya me, Maokra. Atempu da homa wo, onwe ube kobi ana. Anu te Sonya me, Sonya me, Maokra. Ene, mira ho. Miraho in a sense that when I look at what is happening around us, when I look at what is going on among Christians, among believers, among preachers, among evangelists, the backbiting, trying to uh, tarnish someone's image, to make someone feel like they are doing the wrong thing, I am doing the right thing. We have become church. We have taken the place of God. My heart is bleeding for Christians. My heart is bleeding for Christianity. Hello, beloved. You are once again welcome to Crown Melody Prayer House. Me mama kwaba ediba Crown Melody Prayer House. And then yam yam drum yam my message. Ah, me person me dey pray you now. God has given a word. Oh, God has given us a word that I just want to share with us. Uh, the word is taken from Revelations, Revelations chapter 3, the verse 14, okay? That is where we'll be taking our reading from and our other Bible quotations as well. And please, if you are not yet subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting for? Kindly subscribe to the channel, okay? Subscribe to the channel, share the video, like after watching, and leave a feedback. And if there's a question, you can just send me or then me with the same name. On, on Instagram ask me any question or you can just take my email on my uh, um, my about and then you can write to me any question at all okay and I'll gladly answer okay. Revelation chapter 3 the verse 14 if you have your Bible there kindly open it and let us read it together and unto the angel of the church of the Lodicians write this thing says the Amen. Hallelujah, the faithful and true witness. The beginning of the creation of God. Amen. The verse 15 says, I know your works, that you are neither cold nor hot. I would, I would that you were cold or hot. So then because you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spit you out of my mouth, because you say I am rich and increased with goose, and have need of nothing, and know not that you are wrecked, you are wrecked, and miserable, and poor, and blind, and naked. The verse 18 says, I counsel you to buy of me gold, tried in the fire, that you may be rich, and white clothing, that you may be clothed. And that the shame of your nakedness does not appear. And anoint your eyes with eye salve, that you may see. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. The verse 20 says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to dine. I will come in to him and will eat with him and he with me. The verse 21 says, To him that overcomes will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame and sat down with my father in his throne. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. Amen. What the Lord is telling us here is that He knows your work, that you're neither, 
that you and I, we are neither hot nor cold. Because we are neither hot nor cold, he will spew us out of his mouth. Just imagine, you call yourself a Christian. I am calling myself a Christian. Call yourself an evangelist. But you are not doing what the Lord is telling us to do. You are, not tell, you are not telling the people the truth. You are not preaching the truth gospel to the people. You are, you are just beating around the bush. Because you don't want people to know the truth. The Bible said the truth will set them free. You don't want them to know the bitter truth. So you have been backbiting, giving them what they want to hear. And know what the Lord wants them to hear. The Lord is telling you. That he will spew you out. What are you doing? Ask yourself. If you're on the right path, you know. If you're not on the right path, to you know, child of God. It is time for us to amend our ways. It is time for us, for us to repent. It is time for us to seek God. It is time for us to seek God. It will be very painful that on that day, God will tell you that I do not know you. God will tell you that you do not do what is right. On that day, God will tell you that you are neither cold nor hot. Your works are not recognized. Your works are not in the book of life. Your works that you do in the ministry has never been recognized by him. Just imagine on that day, you say you serve in the Lord and the Lord will spill you out of his mouth that he do not know you. What a painful day. What a painful day. What a painful day. Because he said you are lukewarm. You and I, we are lukewarm. We are trying to prove to people I am holy. Christianity is in the heart. Your holiness, let God see your, you see your holiness. Let God see your holiness. Let God see your holiness and approve your, of your holiness. If the word approve of your holiness because you do it to the word, but God is not approve of it, or what you are doing, or you are doing something underground, that holiness that you are showing outside. And the Lord will tell you that you are lukewarm. Many of us today, Christian, we are lukewarm because we want to prove the word that I know how to talk about God. I dress this saint, I wrap my hair, I look holy, so I am righteous. But deep down within, we know there are things that we are doing that does not match our Christianity, that God is against, that God is not uh, 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 that God is against, we know within our heart, but we are proving to the people that is what the Lord is saying that we are lukewarm, we are neither hot nor cold. I'm saying, I'm a Christian, telling people, Thou shalt not fornicate, thou shalt not do this, but I am doing it in my secret. Whom am I deceiving? I am deceiving my own self, and on that day, the Lord is going to spit me out or spill me out out of His mouth. And I said, because you say, I am rich and increased with goods and have need of nothing. And no more that you are wretched or wretched or wretched. That is the word. Wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. Many we, 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 we take, you know, that I am rich. I have everything. We boast what we have. You have a house. You have your car. You have your business. You wear your good clothes. So because... You know that you have all these things. You boast in them. And the Lord is telling you that you don't know that you are miserable. You are right. You are blind. You are naked. Why is the Lord saying that you are naked? You are naked because you boast in your riches and not in the Lord. Because you take delight in what you have. Not giving glory to God. Because you boast of the things you put on your body and not to God. So you see yourself, you are being dressed with gold, with diamond. But the Lord is telling you that you are naked, you are wretched, you are poor. This is the word of the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. He said you are blind. Because if you are not blind, 
You will not be counting those things that you have. That is everything to you. If you have eyes, you know that there's something amiss in your life. You know that you need something. You need something. You need something. You will be walk with God. Why not walk with the Lord in the light of His word? What a glory He shares on my ways. When I do His good will, He abides with me still. I with all who will trust and obey. So trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. It's saying, I counsel you to buy of me gold dried in a fire that you may be rich and white clothing that you may be clothed and that the shame of your nakedness does not appear and anoint your eyes with salve that you may see oh my god god loves us he loves us one thing that we don't do is that we don't read the word of god so we don't know that we are backsliding we don't know that we are going astray we don't know that we are taking pleasures in things that is of it's not valuable it's of no value it's not it's of no importance because we don't read the word of god he said buy of me go try in a fire that you may be rich and he will anoint your eyes. When God anoints your eyes, when your eyes are open spiritually, things that you are taking pleasure in, you see that they are nothing. Ask yourself, how many people have died that they have taken their mansions with them? How many people died that they are buried with all their belongings? They can say, when I die, bury, bury me with this, bury me with that. But if it's too expensive, before you leave, somebody will just go and dig it out and go and sell and, sp and spend the money on, on, on important things. So why do we... Uh, 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 um, why do, why don't we seek God? Why don't we give our lives to God? Why don't we serve God well instead of fighting each other on social media? Instead of judging one another? What, that people are laughing at Christians. People are making mockery of us because now we Christians, we are breaking down each other. We are discriminating each other. We are embarrassing each other. We are nakeding each other. And we think we are serving God. God is telling you that He's going to spew you out because you are not a hot. If you love your neighbor, your neighbor is doing the work of God and your neighbor is going astray. What do you have to do? You have to go to the Lord before in prayer and say, God, I pray for my sister Gifty. My sister Gifty is not like this. She don't used to be like this. My God, something is wrong with this lady. Something is going on with sister Gifty. Father, I I bring her before you and I pray. I set her loose according to your word in Matthew chapter 18. But I said, anything that I lose on earth is lose in heaven. Whatever that I burn on earth, it is mine in heaven. So, Father, I lose her from every chain. I lose her from every attack. Father, bring her back on track. Holy Spirit. You pray, you intervene, you intercede. But if your brethren, if your sister is going astray, hallelujah. Look at this woman, no. Oh, she says she's a holy Christian, no. Oh, she says she's this, so oh. now look at her, oh. look at gifts, you oh. now she's doing bread, so oh. now she hey no. The Lord will spare you out because our work is to intercede for one another. Our work is to pray for one another. Our work is to stand in gap for one another when someone is going astray. Our work is to stand and travel and pray. When, when Peter and Silas was put in the prison, the church traveled, the church prayed. They pray and God send his angels and the prison gates got open so when you're christian when your brother when your pastor is going astray beloved pray instead of being judgmental beloved pray beloved pray let us pray let us pray we need to pray for one another your pastor need your prayer your evangelist need your prayer everyone around you need your prayer 
Why do we become our own enemies? Why are we judging one another? The Lord is telling us, you and I, we are neither hot nor cold, but we are judging one another. The Lord will tell us he does not know us, but we are being judges on earth. So people who want are in the world, who want to accept God, they watch this video, they watch this and they say, look at these people. They don't even know what they are doing. I'd rather remain in my world and fornicate. I'd rather remain in my world and do whatever I'm doing, have a peace of mind, than this confused Christians who don't know what they are doing. Beloved, it is time for us to arise. It is time for us to seek God. It is time for us to pray. It is time for us to change from our wicked ways because we are people are going astray because of what we are doing. We are setting confusion in the kingdom. We are setting confusion and people in the world don't see our light. Bible says let our light shine forth. Let our light shine forth people to see that they can come to the light. Let our light draw God. Let our light draw people to God, not to scatter people away from God. What are we doing? What are we doing? It is time. It is time. It is time. And the Lord is telling us, he whom he loves, he just us. The Lord is telling you, because he loves you, he's bringing you this message. That arise, repent, come to him, come to him, come to him. And he will not spit you out. He'll give you another opportunity. He'll give you another chance. Hallelujah. He said, he stand at the door. Behold, I stand at the door. And look, if any man hears my voice and opens the door, I will come into him and will eat with him and he with me. To him that overcomes will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame and sat down with my father in his throne. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the church. You that have an ear. Hear what the Lord is telling you this evening. Hear what the Lord is telling you this morning. Hear what the Lord is telling you this afternoon. You that have an ear, listen to what God is telling you. Stop being judgmental. Stop being not that cold nor hot. Today you are hot. Tomorrow you are cold. Today you are judging your pastor. The next day your pastor's wife. The next day the member. The next day this. But you are the elders in the church. You are the deacon's wife. You are the deaconess. You are there. But your gossip, you can't sit at one place. Because of your behavior, many people have left your husband's church. Many people have left church. Many people have stopped serving the Lord because you can't use your mouth to say positive things, to speak the word of God, to pray for people. But what you do is to scatter the sheep. And the Lord is telling you, you are not a hot nor cold. You just pretend to cover your face. But inwardly, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are something else. The Lord said he will spit you out. Let us repent. Can we Look at something in Proverbs chapter 4, the verse 23. Proverbs chapter 4, the verse 23 says, Let us read the word of the Lord. Proverbs 4, the verse 23 says, Um, keep your heart with all diligence. Keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Keep your heart. Keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. What the Lord is telling you to keep your heart with all diligence. Keep your mouth. What come out of your heart? What things do you imagine in your heart? What things do you imagine in your heart? Do you always imagine negative things, bad things about people, saying that your pastor should go astray, that ministry should scatter? What, what are you? Bible said, with all diligence, because out of it, out of it come many evil, many battles, many wars, out of it. So guide your heart diligently. Let us also look at, uh, look at something in Matthew, Matthew chapter 7, the verse um, 21 to the verse 23. Okay, the Bible said, Not everyone that says unto me, Not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that does the will of my Father, that does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name? And in your name have cast out demons, and in your names have done wonderful works. And then, I profess unto them, I never knew you depart from me, 
you that work iniquity. May God help us. Not everyone are we among not everyone? It's me and you among not everyone that will say what to me, Lord, Lord, who enter the kingdom of heaven. Is our way going to be in vain? Is your ministry of 30 years going to be in vain? Because you are not doing the right thing? Because you are not preaching the gospel, the true gospel to the people? Because you don't tell people what they, what the Lord wants them to know? But all you do is to prophesy, is to cast demons. People know you for casting demons. People know you for giving big prophecies. But do they know you that you are a preacher to the kingdom of God? You pray the word of God, no matter how bitter it is, you just spit it out. You want people to be saved and go to heaven. Or you are a money prophet. Or you are the, your prophecy is you make money, you buy a car, you travel abroad, you marry a rich man. But don't tell people to repent. You don't tell people to give their lives to God. You don't tell people to seek God. You don't tell people to study the word of God. Not only to study it, to come to church and hear the word of God. But to spend time with God. You don't tell them. Enough of those prophecy. Enough of you buying a car. You go to America. You buy a house. Tell them, my people, seek ye first the kingdom of God and eat righteousness. And the husband you are looking for, God will give it to you. So, my brother, come. The Lord wants me to tell you all you are looking for. First of all, seek his kingdom. And that business will be granted unto you. My brother, my sister, the Lord said change your ways of doing for the things you do and seek ye first the kingdom of God and that visa will be granted unto you. Or all you do is to cast demons. The Lord is telling you that not everyone that we are saying that we are everywhere on social media. God says, that says the Lord, that says the Lord, that says the Lord. Now social media is full of that says the Lord. Prophetic word that says the Lord, that says the Lord. Is it the Lord that says, or it is you that speak it? Is it God that speak it to you, or it is your imagination? Remember, whatever that we do on this earth, we are going to give it an account. Not everything you see that you practice, put God first. Hear the voice of God. Let the words that come out of your mouth, the prophecies, be of God, not your imagination. Because every word that comes out of your mouth, you are going to be judged for it. If you are doing it to please people, if you are doing it to get money, if you are doing it to get views, the views you get, the money you get, but you are risking, you are risking your salvation. You are risking a very important thing, that is your salvation. If people know you to be a powerful prophet, does God recognize you as one? Does God see you as one of those people? Is your name in the book of life or your name is in the book of hell? Where is your name written? May God help us. Because many of us today, what we seek for is to get the attention of the public, but not the attention of God. It's to prove to people that we are pastors, we are evangelists. But does God see us as one? Does God see us as one? Or is he sees us as a liar? Let us repent. Because always I say, on that day, there's no mercy. On that day, there's no going to be forgiveness. On that day, there's never going to be, Lord, Lord, forgive me. He said he will spill him out. And he's saying in Matthew that he will say to you, I did not do know you, you workers of iniquity. Let us repent. Let us repent. 
Let us love one another, beloved. Let us pray for one another. Let us pray for our leaders. Let us pray for our pastors, our evangelists. If you see that they are going astray, it is our way to pray for them, not our way to judge them. It is our way to pray for them. Go on our knees and ask the Lord to intervene to help them. Because preachers get attacked. Preachers are always attacked on every side. Even the faithful and elected ones and the elect ones get attacked. It is you and I, our duty, to pray for them. To pray for them. To pray for them. Because if you are not praying for them, it's so easy for the enemy to get them. That is why in every church they have a prayer warrior. Prayer warrior, what are you doing? Are you praying for your pastors? Are you praying for their wives and children? Are you praying? Or enviness and bitterness is filling your heart. So you don't even pray for them. May God help us. This is the word that the Lord has given us today. I pray that the Lord will help us for us to be able. I don't want to cry, guys. But sometimes the word of God, it breaks the heart. It reminds us of where we are falling. Let us give our life to God. Because Jesus is coming soon. Let us stop fighting one another. Christians, we are not enemies. Let us be brothers. Let us be siblings. Let us be there for one another. Can we play share out of prayer? Father in heaven, we thank you. We give you all the glory. Father, thank you for your word. Father, we pray for forgiveness, O oh Lord. Father, please forgive us. Forgive us, O oh Lord, and please grant us the grace to be able to do that which is right before you. So that we will not live a lukewarm life. That on that day, you will spare us out of your mouth. Or on that day you said to us, I do not know you, get away from me, just like how I heard a voice on that night when you showed me how you were casting people into hell. That, get away from me, I do not know you, get away, out. Father, help us, for that day, that voice, ah, my God, help us, Lord. So that on that day you not say the same word to us. That you do not know us, we are workers of iniquity. Help us, O oh Lord. I pray for everyone that will hear this message. Father, help each and every one to make the right choice and for us to do the right thing to the glory of your name. I'm a wonderful people. I'll see you again on my next video. Please don't forget to like and share. Sorry, the video is so long. This is how far the Lord has brought us a Beneza. They already did a bedunia. It's only seven minutes. Kindly. Share, okay? Bye.